Want to save on your energy bills? I know I do. Well, today we're going to look at Moe's Zigbee Radiator Actuator and integrating it into Home Assistant. If you want to keep some rooms cooler or warmer than others, then this could be the thing for you. Before we get stuck in, let's take a look at some of the competition. Here we've got the Hive radiator valve. You can see that's £54. We've got the Tado one, which is just under £60. And we've got the Bosch one, which is just under £58. As you can see, they're all in the same ballpark, really. And if we take a look at most thermostat, you can see that it's nearly half the price. So a pretty good deal. So let's take a look and see what's in the box. Instructions. I see there's some adapters here. And this is the valve. Looks fairly simple, so let's see. Okay, so onto the installation. First, we need to take off the current TRV thermostatic radiator valve. Just unscrew it and pull it off, easy enough. And now we need to put the batteries into the new one. Take note of the polarity of the batteries. You can now see that it lights up. It's flashing. Need to take this out of the bottom bit, otherwise it won't fit over here. Now we should just be able to screw the new one on. And there we go. So now we need to calibrate it. So to calibrate it, Let's press the house icon. You can see some flashing things of how to set the time. Let's press it again, a hard press. Press it again because we're not interested in that. The button, the button is very hard to press, it doesn't always work. When you see AD, that indicates that it should be starting to calibrate. There we go, it's now starting to calibrate. Okay, so now it's finished calibrating, we can see that it's displaying a temperature. I can also see that there's a, a wireless icon flashing here, which suggests that it's ready for pairing. Now that the device is in pairing mode, we are going to go to the integration section in Home Assistant. And then we're going to scroll down to the Sonoff Zigbee section, which is the Zigbee stick that I have. Go to devices and you can either click add device here or you can go to your coordinator and add it here i'm going to click here and add the valve it's searching for zigbee devices it's now found it the interviewing process can take a while maybe a minute or so there we go it's ready to use now at this point you can set the name of the device 
and also assign it to an area if you wish, but you don't need to do that. So now that's done, we can go to the device section and you will be able to see that the new device is there. So let's click into that and you can see the new entity, you see its temperature, the operation mode and the history of its temperature. This can now be used within Home Assistant for automations. Now that we have the radiator valve installed into Home Assistant and there's an entity, we can create automations to set the temperature at specific times of the day or based on different events. So let's create a basic automation and see what it looks like. So I'll do it based on the sun rising. So let's say when the sun rises, you want the radiator to come on. So call service under an action. Set temperature for climate. And then we can choose what we want the new temperature to be. So let's say we want it to be 21 degrees Celsius. Let's make sure we choose the entity. By default, it will list all of the thermostats you've got because we're on set temperature for climate. So if we scroll down, there is our new radiator valve. And that's it. So when the sun rises, it will set the test radiator thermostat to 21 degrees. I've been using this for a couple of months now and I have to say I'm quite happy with the results. I'm able to keep other rooms cooler than others just by turning it on and off at different times of the day. Uh, there's a lot of settings that I haven't used. I've made Home Assistant do all the hard work, but you can set this up so that you set the date and time, set schedules on it and lots of other settings. So uh, if you have a play with any of those, please comment down below and let me know what your findings are. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.